most important thing for us is always the melody, the energy, and the feeling. You know, it, it has to make you feel something, whether it's whether it's really intense happiness or you know, it makes you a little bit, it's a little melancholic. It has to make you feel something. Right? I think I started the melody at yeah, first, yeah, yeah. and um, I had my little this this keyboard with me. This is literally the keyboard where Nevada started. I just started with the da 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 da, -da and I found the sound immediately for that. I've been every fence I, know. I think you were like either doing laundry or getting food. I have no idea. He was out of the out of the um, room, and so when he got back, I was like. You know, check this uh, this idea that I made, <laughs> and then he worked on it, and he like changed some notes, and, and, and you know, added some sound. That's with the syncopation. Yeah, and that's when we we came up with the idea. As producers, it's it's more fun for us since the beginning, and um, we thought this way to always try to do something different. It's more fun to, to try different stuff and uh, keep releasing different music. The way we see it is, is just, you know, evolving. Music made four years ago just doesn't sound the same as music made now, you know, like trends change and they evolve. And we, we're still, you know, in our feeling, making the same type of music as then. But we still feel like the feeling and, you know, the energy is, is, is similar to the, that and you know, I think it's cool to like, you know, as you said, you know, lift up the curtain a little bit and see what's behind the music. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, I'm about to look at this shit. I have no idea where I'm in the room. So the moment we walked in the office, we were greeted with this room where somebody was playing <laughs> the Vive, the virtual reality. Wait, I'll just stand over so here. I mean, every time you enter a company, office or building and somebody's playing VR, that's when you know you have a good office. Yeah. I mean, in my book, that's just you know, 10 out of 10. I was instantly excited when I walked in, so. Do you hold it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is this? So this strap's inside. What is this one do? Yo, it's really weird how um, accurate this is. I, I, you know, it, depending on where we are on the track, like for example with Nevada, when we were doing the creative stuff and like kind of arranging the track and and making, you know, deciding on what instruments to, and, and synths to use, we were doing that together. And then once we once we got to the point where we, everything was arranged, everything was in place, and we just needed to fine tune mixing. That's when, for example, I take it, um, I took it to my studio and I worked on it myself. And Victor will work on another track, and every once in a while I would just walk 10 seconds to his studio and be like, yo, can you check this out? Walk back, check it out, and he'll sit down and like he will have some comments like, oh, let's change this, change this. Yeah. We'll go over it, and, and we do that with every track. Vancouver is definitely, you know, a pretty one of a kind city, especially when you compare it to the other Canadian cities. I mean, honestly, for us, Canada is arguably one of the best countries to play in because I don't know what it is with, with, with you the Canadians, crowd, you but the crowds are just unreal, just so good. You know, they love the music, they're really, you know, enthusiastic about all the DJs and, you know, for us to play there is always just a treat. Yeah. 